Good morning, afternoon, evening. It is Alexis Arcade, and today is a beautiful day to not be outside, but instead to continue our journey here on Ark Survival Evolved. You know what time it is? It's update time. Oh, yeah. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to be on the hunt for the new dino, the Avaraptor. Avaraptor? Avaraptor? I don't know, but I'm really excited about it. But before we go out on the hunt for the Avaraptor, there are a couple new items out that I want to give a try. There is a new bed and there is a table. And also the industrial oven came out today, but I don't think that I am high enough level for it. Um, let me see. Yeah, so I'm not high enough level for that or the um, the new forge that they have. But once 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 I am on that level, I will. I promise you, I will. You know, get that stuff going. But what I did want to do is I wanted to make the bed, if I can spell. I don't know why I type modern. I think it's because they're referring to it as a modern bed, but it's not quite a modern bed. It's in fact a bunk bed, which is cool. And the table I think is just called the table. Let's see here. Yeah. Called a table. Cool. And it, oh, I have the chair. I have the chair? Oh, yeah, that's right, because I put chairs on the, um, the boardwalk. So let's go see. So the bunk beds, oh, that was real cute, Dr. Grant. So the bunk beds require the fabricator. Let's see what they need to be made. Bunk beds. Polymer, pelt, metal ingot, fiber. Oh, you need a lot for some beds, man. Let's see what the table needs. You don't need much at all. All right, so I don't think we have any raw metal. Uh, we have two, fantastic. All right. Um, I, I had some pelt from our pelt gathering extravaganza for the last episode that I just put out. So let's go see if, where I put the extra pelt and how much I have. Oh, no, it's in, the, it's in the smithy, I don't know. Okay, it's in the smithy. All right, let's see, 125. So I only need 75 more. And then I need polymer, which I guess I can go slaughter some more penguins. This game is just making me feel awful. So how much polymer? Pol so how much polymer do I need? Uh, 80? All right, so I'm gonna go and get the polymer. I have the metal, if it's not in here, we have it at our forge, and uh, I will be back, you guys, once I've gathered all of this stuff. All right, so unfortunately, in my attempt to get pelt, uh, both myself and Rory were killed. Um, it's not funny, it's actually really a bummer. Uh, but I am on my way back to hopefully find my body and get my retrieve my pelt armor that I had as well as all of my weapons because that would be quite a bummer. Uh, and it's a bummer that I lost Rory. Um, but it's all in the name of the game. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep continuing to gather the supplies that I need for the bed and table And then once we're done with that we'll look for the new dino and I will be back you guys All right, so I am back. I'm on sky crane fat penguins RG. Uh, I brought her with me so I could get um, the metal that we needed for the bed and Let's go ahead and scoot along in here man. This is so nice to be able to just have them like right here all right, oh, oh, but I'm stuck, there we go. All right, so let me take this from you and pop you in here. How much, I'm short 18, all right. So let's just do that and put the 18 in here. And then what is, maybe, there you go. And what's the last thing we need, pelt? Oh, that's right, uh, I put the pelt on uh, Sky Crane and we will put the pelt in. And yes, now we can make the bed. All right, let me uh, get some gas from here and put the gas in the fabricator and we will turn it on and we will select the bunk bed and then we will craft it. Let's see how much experience we get. 102.9, let's see where we go from here. 153.7, that's not bad, that's not a bad increase. Let me go ahead and take the bunk bed and we will turn this guy off because it's noisy. All right, and um, I also got the, oops, not what I wanted to do. I, uh, uh, Sky Crane, I got the raw metal uh, while I was up at our forge, and I think, how much did it say for the table? 12, oh, okay, one, two, 
and then 100 wood, which I'm pretty sure we have. Yeah, we do. All right, so let's go ahead and make the table. And let's see how much uh, experience we get for that. 153 to 160. All right, seven points. That's not too, too bad. All right, so let's see. Where do we want to put the bunk beds? Well, you know what? We'll actually take out this bed. Um, because we have a lot of, well, not a lot. We have another player on our server now. So hopefully the bunk beds will fit here, you know, before I, I, I destroyed that. This is Link. Uh, can I drag you? Or I want to drag you. There we go. Drag body. Dragging you over here. And then I'm dropping you. And then this is Fat Penguin. And I'm going to drop you over here. And then let's see if we can put, yeah, we can. Am I still, am I still holding him? Fat Penguin, stop it. Drop. Did I drop him? No. Drop. Ooh. E. Release body. I'm trying to. There we go. All right. So let's go ahead and put this bunk bed here. We'll see. Can I? I can't K out here. Oh, by the way, I never found my body. I just came home and I made some pelt stuff that was at least warm enough to keep me from dying while getting the rest of the pelt. So yeah, that's a bummer, but that's okay. All right. So I think this looks pretty good. Oh, no, not anymore. We will line it up with the edge of this thing and hope that it is aligned properly. It's not, it's definitely crooked. Okay. And we have a bed. Very cool. Can I get on top? Can I, nope, nope, not what I wanted to do. Not what I wanted to do. Can I, can I just, no, can't. All right, well, I mean, it looks cool. It sticks out a little bit. We'll sort of the other bed, but you know, it just makes it look like there's more people here. And I actually kind of like the way that they look, especially if you had a bunch lined up against the wall, it would look more like official, I guess. And so let's see, let's, I don't know where to put this table. Uh, we could put it out here for like a pic. Yeah, that's, mm, yeah. Okay. We'll put it out here for like a picnic table and then we, oh wait, but it says that it can only be put on I think it can only be put on a floor, so let's go put it in my house. Uh, my house can kind of be used as like, like a fancy dining room, I guess. Yeah, let's put it like right here. Let's line you up. Very nice. Can I put, hold for options, demolish. Can I put anything on you? I don't know. Let's see what the, well, I have a table now, and I think it looks really nice, and the bed, so no worries. I dig it. But now we're going to move on to the real star of the show, and that is going to be the new dino. Uh, let me go ahead and switch uh, my armor back to my metal, grab the supplies. I know I was reading that they're really fond of eggs, so I'm going to take some eggs with me as well as meat, uh, but I'm sure they're going to tame up faster with the eggs. So I'm gonna go ahead and get changed and get head now and I will be back. All right, so I didn't actually have to go far at all for an Avaraptor. There's one right, oh man, but there's Chimamirna everywhere. Anyway, as I was saying, I didn't have to go very far for an Avaraptor. There's one right here in my backyard, which is super exciting. So as far as I know, you still shoot them like they're going down. Oh my gosh, look how cute. Oh. And they're not like, oh, it's only level one, that's okay. We'll just get it to to see what we gotta do. So just, you're kind of fast, and it's kind of bright. Mmm. Did that do anything? I got you, but are you, are you knocked out? No, you're not. Ooh, God. No, come back here. Come back here. Come back here, please. I want to tame you and make you mine. Okay, all right. Uh... Did I get you? Did not get you. I'm going as fast as I can. I'm heavy because I got eggs for you. Oh, man. That one took off. All right, let me get back on Tabby and uh, try to take this take this thing out. And I will be right back. All right, so I moved all the eggs onto Tabby. That way I can chase this thing a little bit better. And uh, let's see. Boom. That's not doing much. Oh, but you're mad. But you're angry. You're actually, oh, oh, and you're down. Cool. Oh, that wasn't too bad. Um, now let me get, I bet Tab, well, no, I mean, obviously Tabby's not too heavy. She flew me over here. So let's get her over here. 
and see how well or what exactly we got to do to tame this. So let's see where your torpor is. All right, so you're still pretty knocked out. So let's get these eggs and a stack of meat and see what you're going to do. I don't know. I'm very excited to find this out. Along with everybody else. Look at their faces. <laughs> They're kind of cute. All right, so it's gonna eat shortly, and we will see what it eats first. So I've got dodo and a and a Rex egg. Um, I have a Bronto egg at home too because I read real quick right before I went to go find her. Or well, this is a she, I think. I'm pretty sure. Yeah, I read real quick before I went and 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 tamed them that they prefer the bigger eggs, and so I figured I would bring a big a, a Rex egg and the Bronto egg I just got too heavy so I didn't bring that but now that we're so close to home we'll see how much the Rex egg tames her up uh, before we go get the Bronto egg but are you even gonna eat are you hungry how much food does an egg give you let's get some narcotic on you just in case as well um, so I'm gonna be I'm gonna go ahead and go while we wait to see which egg she eats and once she eats one I will be right back okay so it ate one of the Rex eggs I did put a Bronto egg in and it didn't eat until I believe almost 700 or 600 in the food um, I think it was 700 I, I, I didn't catch it right away because um, I was transferring stuff in and out of her inventory but so she definitely did eat the Rex egg and it tamed her up pretty well so now that we have a Rex and a Bronto egg in there I'm sure that those will get her fully tamed. If not, like say she eats the Bronto egg next, we'll see how much that tames her until she eats the Rex egg and then the Dodo eggs and then there's meat on her just in case. And I'm reading is that these, these things are supposed to help your animals mate when they wander. So that's kind of interesting. Uh, we do want our, um, our raptors and our scorpions and everything to mate as well as our Rexes, so uh, we will grab a couple of these guys before the day is over. Granted, I can find more, and we can figure out the right way to tame them because I also don't want to use all of our eggs because we're saving some of our eggs for kibble, but if we have these guys and they are, you know, helping essentially to make them mate, then maybe it won't be an issue. So once she is tamed up, I will be back. All right, so what I'm noticing is that for when she ate the Bronto egg, her, her food went down to 600 before she ate it. When she ate the Rex egg, her egg went down, her egg went down, her food went down to 700 before she ate it. And now that all that we have are these Dodo eggs left, her food is going down 20, to, so she's going to 870 before she'll eat an egg. And they seem to be taming her up pretty well. The, the, the most of the bar, actually pretty close to where the unconscious level is, is how much the Bronto and two Rex eggs tamed her up. But as you can see, she just ate a dodo egg and it's taming her up pretty all right. So I'm gonna go ahead and put the rest of these dodo eggs on her. And uh, she's got the prime meat on her as backup and the regular meat. The Raptor tamed up, I don't know where it is. I named it Mona. Uh, I feel like that might change, but uh, Gangsta Lovin, uh, he's a frequent commenter on my videos, uh, suggested that I tame up a character and name them Freddy. And while this is a female, her name will be Freddy. So that's what's gonna happen. I also, um, I did name, like I said I would, it, stay there Mona, uh, in a video, a couple of videos ago, and I meant to show it, but I did name one of our scorpions Lola, or excuse me, Lucy, Lola's my Rex. Lucy, I named, uh, where is she? Where's Lucy? She's right here, dead center. So, thank you guys for your suggestion for Lucy. And let's go over to where the Alvaraptor is. And Oh, is she up? She's up! Oh, I'm sad I missed it. But, voila! Here's our Alvaraptor. Let's go ahead and name her Freddy. <laughs> and, uh, let's, can I view the, can I view the dossier once you've, uh... No, it doesn't look like I can. But we have our Alvaraptor, and that is super exciting. Hey. All right, so let's get them both home. Uh, follow me. Follow me. Actually, no, don't follow me. Oh, gosh. Oh. Oh, man. That dillo scared the crap out of me. Oy vey. Can I see? I can't see anything. All right. Come here. Whoa, my, that thing like took half my health out. Wow. All right, well, I'm gonna get these 
lady's home even the home is like right there but it seems to be dangerous out so i'm gonna get them home and i will be right back all right so i hurried up and tamed up sarah who was outside of our pen as well who's actually the male phrase the female anyway um so i like i was saying earlier they're supposed to boost mating on your dinos as well as pick up uh eggs when they're wandering so let's see oh you don't want this egg Oh, okay, whatever. Um, but you see that they have, like, pulsating eggs on top of their head. And it looks like it's, like, now Erwin has a pulsating parachute. So other dinos have these pulsating eggs around them. And I'm wondering if that is what is giving them their mating boost if they had a mate near them. That's the only thing that I can think of, that that's, that that's what it would be. Um, so that's really neat. Oh, yeah, see? Like, where they go, they kind of expand their mating, mating prowess. All right, well, that's cool. Learning, learning, learning a little bit about these guys. So that is going to be it for today, you guys. I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you got a, enjoyed your look at the new dino as well as the bunk bed and the table. I had a lot of fun. Uh, if you guys liked the video, please leave a thumbs up or comment. Don't forget to subscribe. That way you know when I put out new videos. And I will talk to you guys later. Thank you guys so much. Bye.